to begin with we are having with us ekta koli ma'am who is an academic head at silver line prestige school nehru nagar branch she believes one book one pen one child and one teacher can change the world she is a person who believes that change is necessary and to adapt that change is moving towards success she was in the top 5 in the list of teacher innovator award for the year 2021 which was given by indian principals network and bharat jyoti ideal educator award by mbla trust guru samman we welcome you ma'am how are you doing thank you so much ma'am i'm well, well a very good evening to everybody moving forward next we have with us miss kavita principal at seven rivers international school Kavita has over 18 years of experience in all the three IB programs and the Cambridge program at the drive to make education meaningful for every student. She is the founding principal of two international schools in Mumbai, keeping the individual child as the focus, the head, heart and hands at the center of the school design and ensuring technology is used as a partner has been her aim as she is set up two schools in the past 6 years she believes that a positive school culture leads to successful students and a thriving school we welcome you kavita how are you doing thank you nikita for the warm welcome i'm good and hello everyone moving forward next we have with us mrs vaishnavi raj principal at royal concord international school a passionate leader recipient of sikh shanika seva prashti from pandit deen dayal memorial mrs vaishnavi raj has been working for reputed cbse and icse institutions for more than two decades now she has been coaching the children for competitive exams like ntsc She has also taught the children of government schools online as freelancer from Smart Cerebrum Private Limited. She represented her school in the annual conferences held by ESIC. She also motivated her students to win the gold and silver medals in the national level taekwondo and kho kho which was conducted by ESIC in the year 2018. We welcome you ma'am. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. and since we are having the topic which includes about the three hours of education so we have to invite arpita with us arpita is the co-founder and marketing lead for maverick she holds more than 5 years of corporate experience across various management verticals she pursued a btech and an mba before starting her corporate career Maverick is the brain child and dream of hers to make sure that every child is well equipped to shine in the future. An education enthusiast by heart, an entrepreneur by nature, Arpita believes that small steps can make big differences. We welcome you Arpita. How are you doing? I'm good Nikita. Thank you so much for welcoming me. Yeah. So Arpita if you can just enlighten us about how the entire discussion would be all about and then we'll move to the questions forward. Absolutely Nikita thank you so much. Uh first of all a, a very welcome and a very good evening uh to all the panelists over here. Uh to start with uh, you know I I believe there are uh, certain assumptions and certain uh imaginations that we should have to uh figure out first. to go in deeper into the discussion so i would just uh, uh, ask you to think about a ted speaker you know who is giving an hour long speech without notes ppts or other cues uh, maybe you know think about a theater artist uh, who are remembering their dialogues as if they are talking in real time and also we can just uh, take it up from a so called wonder kid kid solving mathematical questions in a wink of an eye so all these have one thing in common a brain which has a higher processing speed uh retention and recollection power than a normal individual uh do they have super brain actually yes uh but that's also true that we all have it it's just that we can program our super brains with well researched brain optimization techniques and processes and harness its true potential 
so all of us must have visited restaurants and we do frequently actually so if i ask you what is the most vivid experience in your memory which comes in just now i am sure you'll have one memory of an instance where you must have had a very delightful experience of a food particularly a dish or maybe you would remember an instance where you have heard a very talented live singer uh giving some of perform some of a performance in the restaurant so basically uh why i want to bring the notice or the uh you know or the idea is from food song fragrance all these can create vivid memories and all of them are related to sense organs which creates emotions so basically the idea is any information when it is combined with emotion creates a long term memory and that's exactly where brain training focuses on so why do we need uh, techniques or processes in the first place so as i was just mentioning any memory first starts with a sensory memory where our sensory organs have received some kind of the something of the memory then it gets converted into a short term memory and then into a long term memory so if i just want to you know uh, bring out an example uh we all have known about exercises since long it has been a very important part of all our physical fitness so what exercises do basically there are only three ways to gain result from it one is frequency that is more repetitions when we do ex- more exercise more repetitions of one particular form of exercise it leads to a result second is the duration that is when we talk about the time we are investing doing that exercise so when we do more obviously there is a outcome which can bring you better result but third thing which is one of the very important things and, and makes all the difference is the intensity so if we see we have all heard about uh, hiit exercises nowadays so what are these hiit exercises these are basically 15 minutes hour packed high intensity exercises where it is only a 15 minutes but the intensity is so high that it can actually reduce the time and the frequency you put in so it brings you the same result when a longer time and a more frequency is put into the exercise so that's the idea of brain training so brain training helps you to bring more results in a lesser amount of investment of time so basically if we see human mind is made to forget things whatever we learn we forget but why do we do that because according to the research it is said that human minds forget 50% of the information within an hour for example i'm reading a book it is very much normal that i will forget 50% of it within an hour and another 70% within 24 hours so and again if we see the uh, the challenges all the students or even us we are tested in examinations for what to actually recollect and to memorize to remember so nobody nobody is in that way where we are talking about the recollection so if we need to recollect it to do better in examination so the ultimate focus should be there so and that is what cognitive skill training is talked about and that is why it is so important so the ultimate goal is to process retain and recollect the information that we have learned and that is why we have today's discussion so that it can be led to a way where we talk about these three things a uh, better processing or a quick learning secondly a uh, better retention and an effective recollection when needed so that's where we are coming from you ma'am how would you define cognitive skills to parents and uh, how would you make them understand the importance of them in terms of education see basically uh, today's parent they are more vigilant because earlier when we were talking to the parents regarding the at the time of admission they were very less queries but now they have got a full questionnaire with them so they are more vigilant at what are we doing in terms of attention memory and thinking so the crucial skills which a child should need 
today the motor skills and everything all these were the terms in the diary of a teacher but today a mother is very well aware of it but where has it come to the part of education a parent needs to understand that yes how the child is going to develop them and uh, some parents they feel that it is the complete role of a school but i feel that it should be a balanced one because family equally plays an important part in the initial years if a child is spending 3 hours with me the child is spending rest hours with the parents as well so a 3 hour magic when cannot take over the rest of the hours so we need to make the parent understand that how a child is going to grasp the attention how the memory is going to work and here we need to go to the child's level in spite of bringing the child to our level it's more good like uh, for example i'll take like in our uh, foundation which we call pre nursery to make our kids sit in the class for the first time in online class we had not taken for the whole year they were not having any pencil or crayon nothing they were having the rice the flour and all these stuff the color so they were writing the alphabets in air in that so they were enjoying that and the moment they came to school and we asked them to do it in notebook they said it is boring ye acha nahi hai so this is the difference and this a today a parent need to understand so uh, very aptly madam has uh, told this uh, this is a uh, every leader face this uh, challenge uh, practically when we, when they come to know it's, uh, it's not very uh, they explore much uh, the parents when before coming to you they explore experience and um, they know you are uh, all swot analysis what we say you know yeah. so before we know ourselves you know they know better than us and it's a very very important thing that how um, what we offer to the children it may be cognitive skills or uh, they would have uh, they would have made a research before coming to us uh, so um, so the way the way we convince them the way we talk to them and uh, Uh, should be very very uh, uh, we uh, it should be very convincing to them then only they will uh, uh, understand um, uh, the 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 process how we go about it so uh, most of the times you know in our school also uh, like um, uh, whatever uh, we offer to the children however they learn and what is the end product so everything um, basically i have a team what what we do i generally um, tell my uh, staff to tell what we do uh, 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 so uh, whatever we do then only we have to tell it's not that we give you some fancy words or something um, some uh, fancy uh, you know uh, software that this and all whatever we do you tell uh, so in the same way so when it comes to cognitive skill is you know uh we give them a little orientation when they come here to us so the ability to focus so uh the remember the information and analyzing things these are the things where we initial stages when we give for through simple activities so then uh, i think uh, uh, as and when the child grows you know that that can be performed in a in a higher level so it's it may be for a grade 1 if you start so probably after 4 5 years uh, the uh, maybe the same skills will be uh, you know put in for the the higher level uh, experience so uh, those things we will um, inform the parents like how we are going about it so uh, through some different activities we quote some examples and we make them convince so that you know they will at the end of the day so the, as you rightly told uh, the experience matters a lot if not uh, this way that way the decades of experience were however uh, as you told the technology is replacing and you know many things but still i feel the importance of uh, certain things will remain same um, so uh, so there are the major things with even uh, the drastic changes uh, what we are noticing every every year every uh, you know six months you know uh, every new new word is coming and new things we have to learn a lot and it's a very very the, uh, i always use one quote actually uh, i think charles darwin's quote it is not the most strongest animal which live on the earth neither the most intelligent animal which <laughs> live on the earth it's the most adaptable animal yeah. which uh, lives on the earth so we being educators we need to be more adaptable you have to 
talk to the so i always tell uh, anybody who comes to me i have started teaching in the year 2000 now it's 2021 okay 21 years i have seen the generations of parents my first parent would have become the grandparent by now so the so now the way the first parent was thinking the questions how the parents were asking in the beginning like uh, uh, 20 years before it's not the same so like android versions no or yes, you know, yes, we are we should bring out our new versions <laughs> ios has taken over <laughs> yeah yes <yeah. laughs> so so vaishnavi 2020 doesn't work for vaishnavi 2021 So I think 2021 um, should be more advanced and more uh, uh, challenging and more uh, technical in terms of everything. So, uh, so wherever the learning pl- platform is there, we have to go and interact like these educators. It's not only that you learn by book or you learn by something. So by talking to such educators like the Ekta Ma'am Kavita. I don't use ma'am there <laughs> and Arpita Nikita see um, uh, so it is it is the right platform for us like being an educators it's a I really appreciate uh, like you give us a uh, time to talk to each other <laughs> so that is really great for us yeah for me it's <laughs> so very nice <laughs> as of education which are namely reading writing and arithmetic it talks in detail about what of learning but often the how of learning is not talked about in detail so how can brain development or cognitive skill training address this how of learning Uh, so basically see uh, wherever uh, just to kind of move on from i just love the way ms vaishnavi added on about the levels and you know how you grow every year that's very interesting actually so one of the things that i uh, talk to parents is that it's never the really the what in school because what in every school will almost be the same it's always the how that matters it's how a particular uh, subject area or something ha- is being taught to kids that makes a difference so uh, even like using technology not using technology physical classrooms uh, uh, or non physical classrooms everywhere the how mattered a lot so uh, we are of course a lot more evolved after two years of uh, teaching and learning online so we've learned the hows of online as well now uh, so how so one of the few things that i talk about when we teach any any subject area is is one is the culture how you set up the culture of the classroom second element is how you start engaging the kids in the learning then comes to instruction and then is assessment so these are the four layers that i would kind of talk about when you talk about the how of uh, teaching and learning and how you engage students how you instruct them and how you assess them to really know they what they've learned so the all these elements put together bring in the best in the children um there are a lot of strategies that can be used to bring in the how but it's very important that at the structure level as a school we need to kind of make sure that we have these four areas in place because they all impact like uh, when you have a particular how what is the kind of culture that is being built in the classroom uh, how uh, when i say the culture i mean is how trusted the children feel how uh, emotionally balanced the children are like i feel a happy child learns the best and i think arpita you also mentioned in the beginning that learning and emotions go hand in hand and i very strongly believe in that that in if a child is in the classroom and is not happy about what's happening uh we can not really teach them anything the second thing is how you do that and it's not about you know just making them happy by giving them chocolates and things like that it's not that it's not making it happy like that if they have to be emotionally happy that means internally they need to be comfortable in the space they need to know that okay i'm in a place which is safe for me i know that the teachers care for me i know my peers care for me and only then is your starting that starts the how in uh, learning you know because only then the child will feel comfortable sitting in the classroom that's like you know that goes down to your relationship building with parents that goes down to how you started with the parents at the beginning of the year uh, luckily for me i've worked with smaller schools smaller cohorts so i've ha- i've had this opportunity to you know ensure that my teachers have met the parents in advance before the school started the kids know the teachers so there is a comfort level 
uh, the next is really building in bringing in engagement in the classroom is through yeah that the engagement is with a lot of activities that you plan how you are teaching the kids small group sessions whole group sessions um, what is what elements can be also you done using technology so especially at seven hours we we were actually before even the pandemic we were very we were in for a technology savvy school where we did use certain platforms for math and literacy where a part of the lesson could be the practice of math could be done online by the kids so that it saved time but also children were engaged and uh, the reason online was that the tool helped like if the child got stuck somewhere the tool helps them recap the concept very quickly rather than you know waiting for the teacher to clarify the concept so the those little things engage children station teaching making them independent learning group work these are amazing engagement spaces that kids can work in then is instruction of the teachers i mean i think engagement and instruction slightly go hand in hand but how clear the instruction is how coherent the teacher is able to build the instruction is how time bound the instruction is i cannot speak for 30 minutes to ensure children are engaged in the classroom maybe i can only speak for 15 minutes max like 10 minutes is like the bandwidth that the child would take in rest all needs to kind of move on from activities redoing re uh, going back to concept and then is also constantly assessing their learning assessing does not mean just end of the lesson testing them it's just checking for understanding constantly are you listening uh, quickly do a quick check if the children have got the response or, uh, got got what you're teaching them so those are the kind of elements that really bring in the how and i think anything you teach be it reading writing arithmetic or any any subject area if all the components for components are balanced well in learning then i think the children are in for a great experience learning experience and then obviously their cognitive skill development is bound to happen how much of the cognitive skill development in children is dependent upon their genetic makeup and how much can be learned anikita you are very right i mean uh, in this era when uh, ekta ma'am was also speaking about kavita was speaking about the same things that the uh, parents have uh, you know yeah they have they are vigilantes now <laughs> so they they have a lot more information even uh, vaishnavi was saying the same thing you know there is there has been a lot of information uh, among the parents but yes it is very important to understand that how far it can be uh, you know it can be taught and how far it can be taken up uh, from where uh, we get it naturally from i mean the genetics so according to the researches uh, on brain development particularly uh, it is said that one third is genetics dependent so one third of what brain development you have is because of the genetics and the two third is actually learning dependent uh it means that it is completely influenced by the external environment and is completely in our control so two third of the brain development is in our control so i have read a few famous books like change your brain change your life by dr daniel amen uh again the code of extraordinary mind by vishen lakhani uh all these things all these books advocates one fact that is there is no good no bad memory only trained or untrained memory so if at all we have a curriculum in place when brain development is talked about literally anything can be done the brain can be trained in a way where nobody can be you know nobody will be thinking about so that's the kind of uh, uh, research oriented uh, you know result we are talking about when uh, it comes to the uh, brain development How does the integration of cognitive skill development affect the child's attention and their ability to retain? Uh, ma'am, it definitely affects because uh, it, sir, uh, like we were talking about three hours, so I'll relate that that three hours cognitive skills, and along with the three hours on both the track, reading, writing, and the three hours of education, respect, responsibility. So all these are just three knots in one thread only. so till the time we bring these 
thread in one stroke in one class we cannot achieve to have a good grasping of a child in the class so to uh, the basic a uh, fight in the class for a teacher is that to have the attention of the child when we are taking a chapter in the class we have to be very very planned that how my child is going to listen to me for 20 minutes because uh, sitting at one place it is very difficult for us and sitting at one place for the child and listen on one topic unless and until we come to the level of their understanding their interest we cannot achieve that because they will surely be seeing what is happening on the next bench what is happening outside so to bring that the lesson should be planned in such a manner which is not according to whatever the concept is giving the book Now, uh, nowadays definitely we have moved far away as i told you in the beginning that due to pandemic we have left our ncrts and all the books we have this left and we have come out of all the way far from that so basically we are in such a track that all the things need to be creative in the respect of a child if i'm taking a chapter we cannot have that rote learning or something we have to go for a role play so that the child if a child is a character definitely the child will be attentive if you have given a project on based on that chapter you will have a better understanding in respect of your telling the story and if you tell them okay change the end and you see the superb things which come out so the basic thing is that all these cognitive skills only they are in the child it is just we have to just brush them up a little bit and we have to come up in such a way that yes the child says oh i want this teacher and i want to listen this she is going to come up with the best what ma'am is going to bring in the class if the child has got this feeling before your class you are the best one on the earth for the child obviously uh, so integration of the skills so obviously what happens the the normally if you uh, focus on ma'am was talking about some hiit so the high intensive some uh, you know workouts or something like that if the if the absorption is better if the mind can understand better absorb better obviously the performance will be better the end product will be better so mm. i think the so the integration so the cognitive skills uh, most of the people they don't know what is what is cognitive then the, the uh, only the some people may know cognition means what is it is something related to knowledge something related to uh, you know analyzing so uh, i have the uh, before there are certain levels of uh, before i understand some concepts for there is something called as uh, there are um, uh, i just uh, it's on the tip of my tongue i'm not uh, um, so the the knowledge uh, understanding and uh, you know application there are the levels you know there are the levels of uh, understanding so analyzing then creating okay the, there are there are the, uh, you know the seven levels Unle when do you become a perfectionist or when you come to know that you are you have hold on something you have completely understood the concept so that is when you on the top of the pyramid so in the, if the first level is you know where you have the knowledge level when you know something that you you cannot claim that you uh, you have the hold on the subject or you so when you the knowledge should be converted as the understanding then application then analysis and you should know to create when you become a creator so what happens you you are the you, you know everything that that must be that that is what one of the example where ekta ma'am told where you change the climax of the story where you give the role play so uh, when you become a creator uh, so you 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 are the one who knows in and out of that particular thing say for example one uh, english uh, uh, word if i know accept if i know it you are using it and uh, if i do not understand the meaning of that if i do not understand the meaning of accept i cannot apply in my talk or apply in my any of the sentences okay so see there are the step by step so uh, the knowledge be knowing you i know nikita i don't know i don't understand her because i have never dealt with i have never you know been with her for some time correct so knowledge is the first level of you know the learning so that is uh, so unless uh, so the, your cognitive skills when you integrate you can go to the highest level where you can create 
and you 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 know everything that that will uh, so that the integration brings you the best from you so what do you think how does it affects a child's behavioral patterns as i started and I also as arpita started talking about emotions and learning go hand in hand so the children are relaxed they are happy they are happy to be in the classroom they they're there to learn so when you are when you are there to learn obviously your and you are engaged in the classroom you will behave better so uh, that is what is very important for the children and uh, i i feel a lot of time especially the beginning of the academic year should be spent with the teachers in building that safe space for the kids to add in uh, social emotional well being spaces in the school in different ways i think i think all schools do that in different ways these days um, and those are something that will really help them calm down feel comfortable in the space so that is where the i think the first level of behavior ma- gets managed with the kids the second thing is structuring it for the kids so a uh, very simple thing like you know having classroom agreements so before you start your lesson you know that you have classroom agreements and i i don't want to use the word rules because rules become something that are being imparted by someone on you but agreements is something we've all agreed upon so the word agreement really makes a difference it completely changes how the child is looking at it it completely changes how we are all looking at it so the moment they say these are agreements that we have to follow so even kids are really you know cognizant of that and they are very they actively participate in creating those agreements as well with you because they agree that you know if everybody else is following those agreements they'll all be settled so once those things are settled in classroom then is then is your space to build in the other skills so, uh, so and again uh, setting or following agreements is again a cognitive skill actually for children so if if children are not able to follow the agreements then uh, they are not able to move ahead as well so cognition involves children starting with the very base level of understanding what is expected of me so that is um, uh, you know things like response inhibition where they they need to know how much to wait or you know should i wait for my turn um, like it's not like uh, you know it's not like everybody should yes i know we want all our kids to get a turn to speak or participate in a class discussion but it's also fair to be like i mean the teachers also have to be con- conscious of time you have 30 kids in the classroom and if you spend 30 minutes just asking each child you just will finish the lesson so those are some understandings that children get when they're cognitively aware their cognitive skills are developed because they know that okay i need to wait for my turn so that's again it impacts their behavior they know how to work together as a group they know how to respond to questions they know how to respond to they learn how to you know even like work with each other so it's not always competitive right when we're doing a group work it's it is a there's a strong sense of learning together that comes in um time management eventually obviously uh, these lead to larger executive functions like time management or you know managing your goals and things like that those are functions that will come in later but i think it starts with the very basic things of being managing your behavior in the classroom when it comes to learning so uh, you know yeah i think um, and then you know in early in early classes you would want them to kind of reflect on what they're doing a bit of reflections then even redirection in the classroom make them think of their emotion these are simple things that can be done in the classroom to make kids aware of what they're doing in terms of their behavior so they are kind of present in the classroom so uh, kavita has rightly mentioned you know cognitive skill development has uh, you know uh, one important layer as acceptance where you have the cognition to actually accept uh you know the agreements what she has told told about uh, another important part which we also talk about is where there are positive habit shifts or behavioral changes uh which helps you to absorb the information better 
I mean, one is of course, uh, as Kavita mentioned very effectively, that it is more of acceptance. Second is the absorption, where, where, uh, for example, there are uh, you must have heard about the process. It's called Pomodoro process. So, uh, for example, we are in a social gathering, right? So, what happens is if you meet almost around twenty people or twenty-five people at a stretch. uh it is more or less very normal that we would remember the first four or five names uh we met and the last four or five names we met so why these things happen uh this is a, this is a very scientific explanation to it we call it primacy and recency so primacy is the first few minutes where your brain is super active you have just been in the social gathering now you are ready to absorb all the information come i am here to accept so that's that's the first uh, primacy and the recency which is the actual last few minutes of the uh, you know the gathering where you know that okay now i am going to leave but before that your brain is again a super active at, at that super active stage where that it wants to absorb the information so uh, what cognitive skill development actually does it does is it mitigates this primacy and recency effect so that we don't forget what we have learned in the middle so pomodoro actually talks about it our brain functions in a way where for the first 25 minutes it will be active well let's say uh, as teachers maybe ekta ma'am or kavita is teaching their uh, kids and th- that 25 minutes they will be active they will be listening they will be participating uh, through activities but after that 25 minutes the brain actually stops receiving information so that 25 minutes after that particular 25 minutes there is a need of 5 minutes break maybe a water break maybe a movement break maybe just a break to recall what you have just learned in the last 25 minutes so that's what pomodoro talks about and this is a process which has to be inculcated but conventionally if you see what happens in a normal setup is the parents want their kid to sit for stretch at a stretch 2 to 3 hours they don't want them to get distracted but this is how our brain works and we cannot deny and that's where the myth has to be broken that is why there is a need of brain training or cognitive skill training at the first place where this myth has to be broken so that we absorb bread better because we cannot fight with our brain we have to put a synergy with the brain that's why this processes techniques are required at a large how can schools focus on integrating cognitive skill development into the curriculums for a better learning outcome we all are already doing that thing it is not to be done now we are already following we are totally because unless and until we will not do that we cannot have a better outcome even for a toddler leave it for the other people uh, the other students we will not have because like uh, we say that a b c in uh, our simple language we say a b c that is your effect your behavior and your cognition if you are able to give these three a b c to the kids in the pre nursery the form will go ahead in a very smooth manner the teacher only has to because h has been given to the child because we say that not it's not the time has gone now children think this what no now the how comes from the child only how to think comes from the child so the concept of abc is the base and that base only goes up so now it is not that that we are going to integrate now no we have been doing that only the specific terms जैसे हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं ना कि हम काम तो करते आ रहे थे नामकरण अब होना शुरू हुआ है चीजों का बिकॉज लाइक ऑल द थिंग्स आर कमिंग अप इफ वी वी हैव रेड अबाउट एन पी इन सच अ डिटेल दैट वी इज ए की एस सर वी वर डूइंग दिस अच्छा now this is the term okay sir term so this has been come that we were doing the same similar things only and not only us all of us are doing if we are following the cbsc or uh, no matter we are following even icsc we are doing the same pattern but the thing is only that now the terminologies have come the proper terms are there the skills and competencies have been divided the basic the best part which i liked about is was the skill and competencies which have been inculcated now the reason is that now a teacher knows that in the base year what exactly i have to give to the child what points now it is not that that whole a to z a child should know in the initial 5 uh, 5 to 6 years no the things are basically divided in a proper manner so okay this much has to be given till this age so that the 
development of the child is taken care of in all aspects because now the rote learning is totally aside a child need to be smart enough to answer anywhere in the society your understanding should be good we are living in such a scenario no matter you are uh, not too much educated you have knowledge and you have good speaking power you are the best educator so that's the basic thing so everything is inculcated now we don't have to integrate anything the parents have to understand that hum sab kuch nahi kar sakte we are not super human beings uh, so that's how it is i mean uh, as a platform we uh, say the same thing schools karte hain schools apna kaam bahut acche se karte hain in the stipulated time they are given theek hai but after over and above that जो मैंने अभी प्रोसेसेस की बात की आई एम श्योर एकता मैम कविता वैष्णवी मैम ऑल हैव बीन फॉलोइंग पोमोडोरो नोइंगली एंड नोइंगली डजेंट मैटर आई हैव गिवन अ टर्मिनोलॉजी पोमोडोरो व्हेन यू टुक द टर्म आई वाज इन अ टुक द टर्म यस सो बट डिफरेंस इज आपको पता है घर तक नहीं पहुंच रही है <laughs> बात घर तक पहुंच नहीं रही है और सबसे सेकंड जो इंपॉर्टेंट चीज हो जाती है वो ये हो जाती है कि वो जो घर तक पहुंचा पेरेंट को वो बार बार याद भी दिलाना पड़ता है वी प्लेटफॉर्म डू हम हर तीन क्लास के बाद फोन करके लिटरली पेरेंट को बोल रहे होते हैं कि ये वाला हमने बताया था आप प्रैक्टिस करा रहे हो ना हमारे क्लास में हम प्रैक्टिस करा रहे हैं आप करा रहे हो साथ में सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ एंगेजमेंट जो करना पड़ रहा है सो दैट बिकॉज अगेन वर्ल्ड हैज बिकम सो फास्ट पेस्ड आज पेरेंट्स के पास बहुत कम टाइम है आई नो माई सर बिकॉज आई वॉज ऑल्सो कॉर्पोरेट जॉब आप लोग हो यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द सेम थिंग सुबह से शाम कब हो जाती है वी डोंट रियलाइज सो स्कूल अपना काम कर रहा है अभी पेरेंट को थोड़ा बहुत टाइम निकालना पड़ेगा एंड ओवर एंड अब एवरी थिंग द चाइल्ड हैज टू गेट ऑल्सो अ गाइडेंस वेयर फ्रॉम दे आर ऑल्सो मतलब एक होता है ना कि आपने टर्मिनोलॉजी आपने जाननी भी इसलिए है ताकि लॉजिकली आप अपने माइंड को ये समझा पाओ कि ये जरूरी है कभी कभी टर्मिनोलॉजी इसलिए रिक्वायर्ड होती है मतलब टर्मिनोलॉजी हैज दिस काइंड ऑफ एन इफेक्ट योर माइंड जस्ट नोज इट दैट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज पोमोडोरो सो इट इज नॉट बिकॉज कि पोमोडोरो इंपॉर्टेंट है वो पता चल रहा है बाद में क्यों है वो पहले टर्मिनोलॉजी समझ में आ रहा है लोगों को दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स विल हैपन आई मीन इट इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ चेंज आई वॉज टेलिंग यू नो एट द बिगिनिंग कॉग्नेटिव स्किल ट्रेनिंग ब्रेन ट्रेनिंग अभी भी इंडिया में बहुत एलियन है इसीलिए एलियन है क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं स्कूल्स अपने लेवल पे कर सकते हैं बट एक उसके बाद की भी एक जरूरत होती है गाइडेंस जरूरत होती है सो दैट हैज टू गो दैट हैज टू बी परकोलेटेड एक्चुअली सो इफ यू कैन लेट एस नो द सॉल्यूशन फॉर द सेम एंड सिंस यू आर आल्सो हैविंग एन ऐप अबाउट इट सो इफ यू कैन लेट एस नो द यूनिक फीचर्स अबाउट दैट ऐप एंड हाउ इट इज हेल्पिंग स्टूडेंट्स पेरेंट्स आउट देयर सो टू स्टार्ट विद maverick as a platform is uh, basically uh, the india's first platform i would say who is focusing on brain training at a larger scale where we are talking about 5 to 13 year old kids which is again the foundational years where uh, ekta ma'am has already spoken about it more so uh, wo foundational years mein we are trying to inculcate brain training and what we do is we conduct live and interactive sessions in very small groups of 6 to 8 kids this is what at the base we do on what so we said that 3 hours are the foundation humne sabne baat kar li is bare mein ki 3 hours are the foundation humko reading writing arithmetic har bacche ko loosely sikhani hai aur wo sikhte hai bacche hamara foundation usi pe hai hum usi foundation pe build kar rahe basically what we are bringing in we are bringing in english communication and public speaking and second thing we are bringing in is math tricks and abacus ab what i am doing with these two things is we are adding an additional layer of brain training to it which is the heart of the platform so which this ensures basically the quick learning faster processing improved retention and effective recollection so that's what we are doing how are we doing this so this i will be going in detail so there are two pillars of the platform so one is the techniques and the next is the processes with these two things the techniques and processes we are building on so what are the techniques basically techniques ko bahut short mein bolu to hacks hai so these are hacks these are uh, you know basically tricks which helps a person to retain and recollect in an effective manner so for a kid it is tougher i would just give an example uh, technique for example i am taking up as mnemonics 
मैंने सीखा अपनी एम बी ए करते समय सो लॉन्ग मतलब एक मतलब पूरी लाइफ बीत गई उसके बाद सीखा तो वट इज नेमोनिक्स नेमोनिक्स इज वेरी सिंपल हम सब शायद किसी ना किसी तरीके से यूज करते हैं हमें भी पता नहीं है बट वी डू नेमोनिक्स इज वर्ड इट सेज लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम पिकिंग अप एन वर्ड हम अपने क्लासेस में नया वो कैबलरी वर्ड हमेशा पढ़ाते हैं तो बी से कि एक वर्ड लेते हैं एक्रोफोबिया सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल अ किड टू रिमेम्बर वी ऑल ऑफ आर स्कैन एक्रोफोबिया इज फियर ऑफ हाइट्स ठीक है बट एक बच्चे के लिए वो याद रख पाना at the first place acrophobia as fear of heights is difficult now how do i make it for kids i'll tell the kid imagine you are working in a garden now when you are walking in a garden basically you saw above you you just uh, put your eyes up and saw ki ek crow hai there is a crow which is flying and that crow suddenly came down took you in your claws and started flying above in the sky आक्रो से मैंने आक्रो ले लिया ठीक है नाउ वंस द क्रो स्टार्ट्स फ्लाइंग अबव इन द स्काई एंड द मोर द हाइट इंक्रीजेस व्हाट हैपेंस इज यू आर शेकिंग विद फ्योर दैट्स द एक्रोफोबिया मीनिंग दैट्स इट सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्रोफोबिया टू रिमेंबर एज अ क्रोफोबिया डन सो अ किड विल नेवर फॉरगेट दिस सो दैट्स हाउ नेमोनिक्स वर्क Similarly, let's talk about another technique called memory palace. What is this? Uh, see, we are all from hunter and gatherers, you know, uh, origin. वो नहीं बदला. The primitive of the mind is same. How it works? Basically, spatial intelligence of सब बे हैं. What is spatial intelligence? We would never forget what things we have kept in this place of the room, that that place of the room. Similarly, hunter gatherers used to remember not through words. not through numbers but through places waha forest hai there is the source of clean water theek hai there is the source uh, there we should not go there can be harmful animals so that's how as human beings we remember at the first place so memory palace talks about that if i am given any 10 random pointers from your end to remember very normally i would forget but if i now start linking it with the first room of my house Now I start seeing, visualizing कि ठीक है ये वाले first room में ये चीज रखी हुई है फिर मैं नहीं बोलूंगी Next room, second pointer I will link it up with that. Third room, third pointer I'll link it up with that. So I created a memory palace in my visualization, basically nothing else. So that's how this technique works. Again, another technique is link chain. So what is that? Let's say, for example, I pick up five random words: phone, uh, ball, cat, bag, bottle. Okay. So how I will remember in the same sequence is now I will start imagining. Create a link. How do I create a link? I go to a mobile shop, mobile phone shop. There is a ball in the shop, lying in the ground. A cat is playing with the ball. and once it started kicking the ball the ball went and hit a bag which was lying there and that bag fell down which had a bottle in it now i will remember all the words you all will tell me the right words and all this all the right sequences it is that easy so for every kid it is important that we give them this hacks so that they have wo bolte na when you learn something in the right way and you can remember it aapko bahut confidence milta hai the first and foremost is that so these tricks and techniques are to be practiced ye nahi hai ki aaj maine bol diya ho gaya nahi aap aaj se practice karna shuru karo kal aap better ban jaoge and these techniques will make sure that aap hamesha confident rahoge aap nahi bhuloge is cheez ko because when you are talking in public i am talking about public speaking sabse bada aspect hi wahi hai public speaking ka the most important aspect is that i am going to talk to people and i have to remember pointers in my mind how do i do that without a script in front of me i do that i can effectively do that because i have a technique to do that out of the blue nahi ho sakta so that's how the techniques work when i talked about the second pillar processes Processes क्या है दे आर बेसिकलीबिचुअल शिफ्ट हम बिहेवियर और habitual shift की बात कर रहे थे प्रोसेसिस आर लाइक हैबिचुअल शिफ्ट 
हम जब जिम जाते हैं तो सबसे पहला काम ये करते हैं कि खाने को प्रॉपर डाइट चार्ट बनाते हैं हम खाने को एक तरीके से फॉलो करते हैं डाइट का प्लानिंग सो पोमोडोरो प्रोसेस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट तो हम इसको अपने सेशन में भी लाते हैं इन एवरी सेशन वी प्रैक्टिस दिस वेरी वेरी कॉन्शियसली वी प्रैक्टिस बोल बोल के प्रैक्टिस करा ये करना है ये करना है so it gets inside you know percolate hota hai second you know again we talk about the storytelling abhi abhi thoda der pehle vakavita was talking about storytelling mashri ma was talking every one of us talks about storytelling storytelling ko humne apne sessions ka ek part process banaya hai kis tarike se process banaya hai we tell kids to tell us story so that they remember aur wo उनका धीरे 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 ना वी ऑल आर अगेन नेचुरल स्टोरी टेलर्स ना हम लोग कभी भी उस चीज को नहीं भूलते जिसके साथ हम स्टोरी एसोसिएट करते हैं रिमेम्बर दो फाइव वर्ड अभी वो स्टोरी टेलिंग का ही मैंने एग्जाम्पल दिया था दैट्स अ ट्रिक बट ऑल्सो इट कैन बी अ प्रोसेस जो मैंने अभी बोला आप लोगों को मोबाइल फोन से शुरू किया बॉल देन कैट देन बैग एंड देन बॉटल एंड वी लिंक इट बिकॉज हमारे दिमाग में चल रहा है ना एक स्टोरी बनी हुई है सुंदर सामने एक माइंड में बैठाया है कैट बॉल के साथ खेल रहा है बॉल से बैग टकराया बैग अभी जाके बैग से बॉटल गिर गया एवरी थिंग इज अ स्टोरी सो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज आर मेड प्रोसेस एंड यू नो टीचिंग एंड विजुअलाइजिंग यू ऑल आर टीचर्स नाउ आप लोग कभी कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं भूलते हो जो आपको पढ़ानी होती है कैसे नहीं भूलते हो इसीलिए नहीं भूलते क्योंकि आप पढ़ाने के लिए पढ़ते हो सिमिलरली वेन अ किड एक्चुअली लर्न टू टीच एंड विजुअलाइज की दे आर टीचिंग विजुअलाइजिंग की बैठ के मैं सोच रहा हूँ मेरे सामने देर आर टेन मोर किड्स एंड आई एम टीचिंग दैम आई बिकेम बिकम क्लियर इन माई हेड अबाउट द कंसेप्ट एंड आई विल नेवर पर सो दिस आर द काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस वी यूज इन द सेशन ये हम लोग इनकलकेट किए हैं एज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन विच शुड नॉट बी मिस्ड This is on the part of uh, basically if we say ये सारी जो चीजें हैं apart from uh, what we have talked about this is all on the interactive session में हम क्या करा रहे होते हैं इसके अलावा हम आप में दो important features लाकर introduce किया है हमने जो कि talks about attention and engagement अभी तक हम लोग काफी बात कर रहे थे on that through activities so क्या होता है इससे जो न्यूरोजेनेसिस और न्यूरोप्लास्टिसिटी जिस चीज को हम बोलते हैं न्यूरोजेनेसिस का मतलब है basically genesis of new cells new brain cells and neuroplasticity it is about linking each other the information ko ek dusre se link karna zyada connections banana so this is what we inculcate in the sessions and the priming method we also do what what happens is in, in priming method is similar matlab aapne question kiya to aap answer ki taraf lead karoge so the question leads to answer you prime your brain you train your brain to absorb that information that's that's what is uh, priming apart from that i was as i was saying ki two important features we have brought in uh, one is of course uh, we believe that there should be some assessment aap logo ne assessment ki baat kari so there is a uh, scientifically researched uh, way in which we assess there are five uh, maqs in which we assess there's a quiz section in the app which assesses on problem solving exploratory we assess on analytical skills we assess on uh, you know uh, exploratory finding out the answers from unknown sources maybe google maybe search engines similarly uh, we talk about eloquence ye jo cheeze hain ye hai aapki uh, jo maine aapko bola abhi ki quiz mein hai and the second important thing is online community humne build kari hai through a wonder wall where the kid talk to each other and find out basically ki दूसरे क्या जानते हैं और मैं क्या सीख सकता हूँ सो बेसिकली शेयर एंड लर्न का नंबर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड एक्सक्लूसिव ऑनलाइन कम्युनिटी दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव इनकलकेटेड मोर ऑन द final tips for all the parents for all the teachers that can help them to focus more and to facilitate memory and the thinking capabilities improving memory techniques ma'am it was a wonderful thing the app and other things what we were like um, uh, what was very new to i mean um, uh, the examples what she gave how uh, uh, acrophobia and all it was wonderful <laughs> so um visualize things sometimes you know the understanding or telling through the story 
so generally what i used to tell you know um, uh, for the children to memory when it comes to memory uh, four hours like three hours what you are telling uh, four hours i used to tell registration retention recall and remember so so uh, the more uh, if they are uh, very attentive in the class the minute uh, whatever you are looking at it may be teaching or anything so if they are very attentive they register properly then whatever the short term memory ram to rom okay <laughs> so the ram uh, whatever that is in the ram that should go to rom so that process has to be done then third is bar bar you know the reinforcement so that what generally i do so this the and then finally that uh, fourth r will come so the, the when the memory things you know uh, uh, when the children has to remember a long things and all there are certain techniques we have to follow it's agree so a uh, wonderful uh, uh, you know uh, talk today i had a privilege to be here <laughs> thank you i would like to say that uh, she was absolutely right that there are tricks we need to take out that like in maths if we say we are taking measurements with it ma'am we are unable to remember where 1000 and where 30 and when 40 comes out so ma'am it's quite difficult to remember this where to multiply and where so we used to tell our kids to just remember a line king hungry died and mother didn't cried much so yeah. just remember m and go up and down in the child remembers so that way the child believes in the teacher always no matter yeah. i am a mother but my children also say aapko nahi pata our teacher knows the best so our role for the child and our one statement for the child matters a lot in the child statement so for us it is very important that before speaking or uttering a single word we should always watch ourselves and for the parents if they give the children two things they can uh, everything in both the hands school is always there for them so we, if we join hands then definitely without joining hands we cannot work so just a good environment and a quality time for the child these two things from the child uh, parents if they give to their children and they join hands with the school they will have a smiling child forever i am going to like i think a uh, great uh, explanation arpita to the work that you are doing and i think it is it is quite important uh, in terms of the children to know how to learn and you know how because how to learn is a very important element in uh the way uh, in, in the way we learn i would just add one more thing is beyond how to learn children also have to add on to how to transfer the learning in school and that's what we do a lot there are those tips and tricks on how to learn so you've learned something but then if i've learned these large words i need to know where do i use them and how will i transfer them in my real world in my real experiences because at least uh, i mean uh, i know i mean i've been working with cambridge and ib programs where the board exam questions are not what where they yes. are why and how so the children have to have a very good strong knowledge component which is important but then how to transfer that knowledge into the real world scenarios into those answers because the scenarios that are given to the students are not known to them so just learning does not help there okay. memorization doesn't help it helps it helps one level the next part is being able to transfer that memorization into the concepts of what you are learning so that is very helpful and uh how do we do that uh would be uh, like you know very simple things is to yes it's important for parents to know what's going on in school however what i feel is they don't need to re regurgitate what's the teachers been telling because what's been taught in school is like the teachers know how to do it the teachers are doing it well of course there are home tasks given which involve practice right which 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 involve practice so that the children are going home and learning and recapping those concepts uh what is really important is helping children find connections in their learning so when i'm working with a small child in the school when we are doing very simple basic numbers and measuring and things like that if as a parent i know that my child is learning numbers or measurements and at school what can i look at home to relate to that so uh, like uh, in terms of okay when i'm in the kitchen see i measured something or you know going shopping with the kids to count so these are the things you would do with very young learners and then as the kids grow 
uh, there are huge conversations that can happen make decisions with the kids ha- involve them in the thinking let them know the kind of thinking you are going through because i think that is important cognitive development for the children as well to go through the process of thinking with the kids so that children feel trusted so the decision making process is like okay when i'm choosing between two things why would i choose that so if the child understands the parents perspective or why they chose a particular thing when the child is making those decisions they'll also understand that so really extending so i think uh, one so there are like you know really taking what the children are learning and extending that in our own spaces is very important for the children for the parents because and each parent like i mean uh, you know has their own expertise in terms of like uh, you know th- there are parents who are into finances there are parents who are into maybe manufacturing and everywhere you are using all these skills be it memorization be it transfer of learning and what i think is very important for me to tell the parents that don't think you don't know you know because you are an expert in the area that you are so if you are a successful business person or you are a you know corporate person in the corporate there is something that you are doing which can be transferred to the children through your experiences which is important you don't need to sit and make them do their maths all the time i mean th- for that you have the school you have the experts believe in the experts and if you have external experts as well that you depending on probably arpita you are one of those experts who would parents would reach out to you separately i think that's there however what is important for parents is to kind of give the best of what they can making children feel safe uh, with the people they work with uh you know what a parent says to the child has a huge impact on how the child reacts and works with the school teachers or anybody else if at home a parent doesn't appreciate what the school is doing the child will never learn well or anybody else how they are working so i think it's it's really the i always say parents are partners and they should know what's going on and it's really i think we are very lucky that we are working in a day and age where our parents have information and knowledge about what happens so it's just extending that knowledge and make it a partnership because that ha- will help us work together uh, and making you know uh, making it like you know focus is the child and we are partners in making the child learn whatever way is each parent has their own choice of what they which like i mean we which school they want to send their child to what kind of extra learning they want their child to uh, learn so all these come together to making of the child and at the end of the day the child is the center of everything so that's my last word yeah okay. ash was mentioning yes there are uh, a lot of need of parents involvement uh, in how the learning is transferred to the next level it's, it's completely uh, our belief as well uh, so whatever whatever we are trying to you know uh, give them give the kids as uh, for that matter uh, from a very tender age a kids a kid's men- mentality becomes what they are around their parents so it's 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 one of the very important factors you know the parents will always influence how a kid is able to think at the same time as i was saying that uh, you know uh, brain development is two third of the external environment so that's how it is uh, parents are one of the biggest environmental factors rather in a kid's life so that that cannot be changed that cannot be changed yes uh, we have heard about many um, uh, stories where yeah they do, the kid may not have got very good environment but still succeeded and became very uh, you know like uh, maybe in in a level where they are recognized well uh, but uh, i always believe uh, there there is a, a relation there is a correlation at the same time uh, we as uh, you as teachers we as um, service providers i would rather call myself where we can uh, bring positive changes where wherever possible this can actually help in a larger scale for the parents also to get a hang of where the whole thing is leading to how it can be done better whatever is done, been done is it is it improving is it helping the kid improve and that similar thing will also be expected from a parent as i was saying that as a platform 
uh you know we have to call our parents you know like we do call our parents after every two to three sessions telling them that yeah this is where the progress is how are you talking to your kid are you uh, talking about the sessions sometimes are you just discussing uh, as if you are uh, just talking without any you know putting a bar to it ki ye result kharab kyun hua ye result acha kyun hua just a discussion uh, okay how is the class today how did you feel about the class today what did you learn new today is this this kind of discussions happening and are you sharing the same with your child ye sab hum har hamesha koshish karte hain ki we tell the parents we talk to the parents because this is absolutely our duty as well we feel ourselves also uh, obliged to be doing these kind of things where the parents are also make made aware of ki these are the things we are taking please take these steps also from your end so that there is a partnership as uh, uh, kavita was mentioning even ekta ma'am was saying the same thing it's, it's about that there we have to bring in a synergy and we are trying to do that as a platform for, from our end as well so we do after school but yes what happens is we give the choice uh, to the parents to sit with the you know uh, kids as well if that helps them Thank you.